So Morgan Shoal is a rocky outcrop located a few hundred yards off the shore of Hyde Park in Lake Michigan. And what's unusual about this is that it is made out of something called Silurian Dolomite, which was formed over 400 million years ago. It's actually the compressed remains of a coral reef that was formed in shallow seas at the time. And if you go there, you can actually see some fossils of some old sponges and corals embedded in the bedrock. A lot of people have heard of Morgan Shoal before, but not because of the biology or geology. It's sort of a famous spot of a shipwreck, the Silver Spray, which ran aground in 1914, over 100 years ago. And it was around a 100-foot steamer uh, made out of wood, uh, got too close, hit the rocks, and after two or three days broke up. But one of the boilers, which is iron, is still there. So as you're driving up and down Lakeshore Drive and the water levels are low enough, you can actually see the remnants of the shipwreck. So most of the lake bottom of Lake Michigan is either sand or mud. So whenever we find rocky outcrops, we're really curious about what's living out there whether it's the fish or amphibians or plants or invertebrates. And so whenever we find some of these spots, we go out there and try to survey them to see what is out there and how that compares to the other areas. So because we're looking for a variety of different species, we're using a variety of methods to find out what's out there, um, as well as traditional survey methods like traps and nets and pulling uh, seines through the water. Uh, we're also chartering boats and bringing divers out there and doing dive surveys. We're using drones or UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, to fly overhead and survey the rocky outcrop. We've also used an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle that SHED has. This is an underwater submarine that we can control from the boat to, to do surveys as well. And so we're using all of these different types of methods to figure out what's down there, what the geology looks like, what's living down there, and then what should we do about it.